So, um, in arithmetic tests, a lot of people have been struggling with these missing number questions where you get a, a calculation but part of it's missing in the middle. So what I thought we'd do is, I'll just do a quick video today of the different types of missing number questions in our arithmetic test. And that should help you when we do today's test. Uh, before we do that, we need to remind ourselves about inverse operations. So if I go all the way back to this one here, it's a simple question. 7 add 5 is 12. I need to know that I can act, if I want to, I can change that number sentence around. I can change the calculation around. So I know 7 add 5 is 12. I could also do 5 add 7. That also equals 12. I just jiggled them around a little bit. I can then do the inverse of that. So I can change this addition into a subtraction. So now I'd have 12 minus 7, that equals 5. Or I could do 12 minus 5 equals 7. So this is the inverse, but it, it's showing that we can jiggle these questions around. And we'll, we'll need that when we get to these missing number problems. Works the same with multiplication. So 6 times 3 is 18. I could write it the other way. 3 times 6 is also 18. Or I could do a divide, I could do the inverse. 18 divided by 6, that equals 3. Or 18 divided by 3 equals 6. And we'll use both of these to help with the inverse. So if I go, this is the first question from one of the arithmetic tests. So it's 47,245 take away something equals 13,389. So I go back to my question here. 12 take away 7 equals 5. If I imagine that as a missing statement, 12 take away something equals 5. Just like this tricky one at the top. What I can do is 12 take away 5 equals 7. I can just change it round. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got my question here. It's 47,245. Take away 13,389 equals. And that's going to give me the answer here, this missing number. And to do that, I'm just going to pop it into a column because that's how we've done all of our subtraction. So we'll keep in a column. If I take away 9, I can't do it. I'm going to borrow from this 4. 15 take away 9 is 6. 3 take away 8, I can't do it. I'm going to borrow for the 2. 13 take away 8 is 5. 1 take away 3, I can't do that one. So I'm going to borrow from the 7. 11 take away 3 is 8. 6 take away 3 is 3. And 4 take away 1 is 3. So that's my answer. 33,856. That's question number one. Second question was this one here. 8,000 divided by 5. If we go back here, I had 18 divided by 6 was 3. I can rewrite that. I can jiggle it round. So it's 18 divided by 3 is 6. And that's what I'm going to use that skill. So 8,000 divided by 5 is 5. I'm going to jiggle it around. 8,000 divided by 5 is going to give us that missing answer. And to find that out, we use our short division, our bus stop method. How many fives are in 8? There are 1, remainder 3. How many fives in 30? There are 6, no remainder. How many fives in 0? There's 0. How many fives in 0? Zero, 0. So my missing answer is 1,600. And the final type of question was this one. 9 times something is 801. Again, if I go back to my originals, I've got 6 times 3 is 18. I can, I've got this one missing. I can write that as this division here. 18 divided by 6 is 3, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn this question into a divide. So 9 times something is 801. I'm going to use the inverse. 801 divided by 9 equals my missing number. And to find that answer, just as before, we'll go to a bus stop. How many 9s in 8th? I can't do it. 
Um, so I'm going to move it across. How many nines into 80? How many nines in 80? There are 8, which is 72. It gives me a remainder of 8. And how many nines in 81? There are 9. So my answer is 89. 9 times 89 is 801, or 801 divided by 9 is 89. I hope that helps this week.